pictures, move in as the topic for your book? Well, I didn't really choose him as such. Um, I don't. I don't really know how it happened, to be honest. Um, I'd been told about Mervyn's work about 12 years ago by a, a colleague when I was teaching down at the Wanganui Art School and a guy called Marcus Williams and he said, you know, my father is a very prominent artist and I think he'd like his work because he like abstract painting and so on. I just sort of, I, I, he said, you know, you should get in contact with him, but I never did, just being a bit antisocial and I don't know, not really being brave enough to approach him and say, you know, I'm interested in your work. Um, so, yeah, just a few years ago I happened to, to meet him through a friend and um, started to find out a bit more about his work and I think up until that point I had no idea really what he had done. I didn't really know the full range of his work, so it was only then that I started to become really interested and you know, the prospect of doing a book kind of presented itself. So it was kind of like a happy coincidence of me being interested in the work and uh, a guy called Ron Sang, who's the, the publisher, um, he apparently had been wanting to do a book on Mervyn for some time, so it just so happened that yeah, we were on the same wavelength.